Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off, we're in town, we're trying to get some bits together so we can set up our own beach in our house. Uh, we need an umbrella, we need some sand and we need some sun. So we've located the sand on the back of this but we're going to need something to prove who's in charge out of the constable and the major. So that's a little bit tricky. We've located the sun over here but we Ace can't use it. Runners. Uh, because Mr. Paneer believes that there's going to be some sort of thing tonight, but hopefully this weather forecast is going to make him give up on that plan and we'll be able to take it. And then the umbrella we know is at the next door neighbour's house and we're potentially going to have to do something with the cheese, I believe, to make Wallace's stomach grumble to convince him that there's thunder. Th that's my idea. We'll see how it plays out. Anyway, let's use the weather forecast here. Stormy weather ahead, I'm afraid. Oh? Oh no. After all that, my sizzling summer sail is ruined. I go on holiday, but the weather's a washout. Will the sun never shine on yours truly? It won't while you... Right, can I have this then? Because it's going to be raining. I say, I wonder where a person might acquire such a light. You're welcome to borrow this one, Mr. Wallace. There won't be any sizzling summer sail tonight. Not in this blinking weather. Yes. That's very kind of you. Always happy to help. There we go, so we got it. This light will make us smashing some. Let's just put that in our pocket, as we always do in these point and click adventure games. So we've got the light at least, so that's one thing down. I'll see you later. Oh, uh, we will see you later, yes. Uh, are we going back home? Yep, here we go. So hopefully our cheese shipment should be here. Right, it looks like it is. Gromit's just peering at it. Oh, ho, a special order for 62 West Wallaby Street. Stilton. One of my favourites. Indeed, and hopefully it's going to make our stomach crumble. Oh, yeah, it's mouth-watering. Well, it's making the sound, but... I'll just borrow this. Oh. Just the thing for our cellar-based indoor beach experience. Well, I thought we were going to have to convince them that there was thunder, but apparently we're just going to nick it. <laughs> I'm not sure whether something didn't play there, whether there should have been a little cutscene showing them saying, oh, no, it's thundering, now we don't need the umbrella, because that just seems weird that this got delivered makes the thunder sound and then we just take the umbrella to me that's a little bit odd but whatever so we just need the sand how are we going to prove who is in charge though that is the question can we talk to these guys apparently not inadvisable okay uh we don't have anything in our invent Gromit, I'll any be ideas? Back soon with some sand. Can't build a proper beach without it. All right, maybe there's something at home. Cozy in there, but I'm set on gathering the goods for our beach. So we can't go back inside our house. How on earth are we going to find something that allows us to prove hierarchy? No beach supplies in there. There must be something some sort of item that we need um what it is though i couldn't say at the moment uh can we what's the deal with this hmm. i'm sure miss flip won't mind if i take just one okay what is that just some flowers it's just a flower i'm not really sure what flip doesn't like poachers and one is my limit Okay, so we've taken a flower. Um, not really sure why, if I'm honest, but perhaps it will help somehow. So this takes us straight back to town then. So we're pretty limited on where we can go. Afternoon. Uh, is there anything to do with the police station? Constable likes to keep a tight lid on irregular. Activity. 
the constable's busy, uh, chatting with the major. Unless there's something we can do when that tilts or something. I mean, why would it tilt if not? Regarding those sandbags. Not now, man! We need to teach this impertinent interloper to show some respect. Tell him to obey his superiors. Go on, Wallace. Tell the old goose what's what for a chucks him in choke. Yeah, we, we talked about this t t today, before. Well, the constable is uh, an officer of the law. Aha! Like I told you. It's time you showed some respect for the law. But this didn't Pie work. And poppycock. Your civilian laws may matter at your grandmother's quilting bee, <laughs> but they mean nothing here among real men in a military emergency. Right, yeah. Tell ya, will you please inform this sanctimonious civilian who's in charge? Uh, you? I mean, we've tried this before and it didn't work. Well, the Major is a... Uh, a major? Ah, ah, just so. Now stand down, or I'll have you clapped in irons. I'll stand on me head before that happens. Major or no major, you can't order PC Ernest Dibbins about. Yeah, if you well, say so. Kindly tell the major here who the officer in charge is, will you? Uh, right, okay, so we can't click on. Can we click on either of these two things? I can't remember if we did that in the last one. Regarding those sandbags. Not now, man. We need to teach this impertinent interloper to show some respect. Tell him to obey his superiors. Go on, Wallace. Tell the old goose what's what for a chucks him in chokey. Some, can we use this? Fine flavors that work well together. We're talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. Are you saying ah. that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like uh, steak and kidney? Uh, are you saying that in a crisis like this, we must act as one? Like a well-trained commando unit? Yes. Actually, it's a sign. Exactly. A sign that we can all rise to <laughs> It's worked. Very well, then. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Good My idea. goodness. Well, I'll be off then. I can hear an hot meat pie. Call him my name. Yes, I can. Ernest Dibbins, it's saying. It's tea time. Fetch the blinking ketchup, Ernest. Now then, who the hell eats pie All with I ketchup? Need is your requisition form. Requisition form? That's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations. Oh, can we? now what? Spy? Surely you've heard about the spies from abroad. No. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck deep in splendid sandbags. Oh, right then. Right, so we need a requisition form. Can we use this form? It's Will this only work? for cheese, but give that here. Good heavens. Special orders? Deliver to. 62 West Wallaby right, Street. Right, okay. You've done the service proud, soldier. Now stand clear. No time for chitter chatter. I'm needed in West Wallaby Street. Uh, uh, yes, sir. So that's the reason for the cheese delivery then, because we needed that form. It wasn't to get the umbrella. I thought it was for the umbrella, but it's not. Fair enough. Um, so... Do we go back home then? Because hopefully we've got everything that we need. We've got the light, we've got the um, sand now, and we've also got the umbrella. So hopefully we'll be able to make our beach. See you later, Major. Right, okay. Uh, where's Gromit gone? No, he's still there. I'll be back soon with some sand. Can't fill the proper beach without it. They're still arguing next door. Right, so do we just flip this over to get the sand into the cellar? Whoops. 
Daisy. Yep. There we go. Oh, oh, all the sand we need. The Riviera, here we come. <laughs> Great news from it. All the goods have been gathered. Now it's time for some elbow grease, eh? To the cellar. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be, I'll be honest. That wasn't too difficult at all. Oh, chapter two already. The Guest House Mutiny. Well done, Gromit. Time to relax on the beach, eh? Wow, we look at the beach. A holiday. Just a minute. Such a lovely beach. It's a shame to keep it to ourselves when we could... <laughs> look at the wheel. ...share it with paying customers. Oh no, here we go. This is where Just it's going to go wrong. West Wallaby Street Water World. A genuine beach house, complete with its own all-weather seaside in the cellar basement beach attraction. Oh, oh, we'll be surrounded by happy holiday makers. It'll be grand, Gromit. Whenever he says it's going to be grand, it always goes wrong. This man's ruining my blinking holiday. <laughs> Half a mind to take my book and get sand and go in your home. sandwich. I was only teasing. Just ask that great big pudding Shut there. Up. I ain't no pudding, you These talking These dogs are disturbing the peace. <laughs> God. Bylaws state that all livestock must oh, be kept under proper control in public places. Fly, and they're not livestock. I want a refund. I want a refund and all. Refunds would indeed appear to be in order, Mr. Wallace. What do you say? Uh, no refunds. Uh, um, well, here at West Wallaby Street Waterworld, customer satisfaction is our top priority. If you'll just be patient, I promise we'll have everything under control by supper time. Uh, You've got till supper time, no later. Not much God. of an holiday so far, I'm sorry to say. Mm, those mutts are a threat to public safety. Shopping, and just and just a fruit display. Darling, my dears, livestock. We can't afford to give refunds, Gromit. We've spent all our money doing the house up. This could be a financial disaster. What are we going to do, lad? I never thought we'd have a house full of unhappy holiday makers. Bunch of morning minis, if you ask me. I'm having a grand old time. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Well, that's one satisfied customer anyway. Right. There we are. This customer relationship management isn't so hard, is it, Gromit? There's hope for our little venture yet. You'd best get supper started. Make it a feast to remember. I'll see to our guests. We'll soon have a house full of happy campers, eh, lad? Famous last words. Right, okay, so... <laughs> it's gone wrong. We're now going to have to try and make everyone happy. Um, so we've got Major Crumb, Edwina Gabbley, Felicity Flit, Constable Dibbins, Duncan McBiscuit, and Mr. Paneer. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, nothing ever goes smoothly for Wallace and Gromit, does it? Right, let's um, start with Mr. Paneer, I guess. Nice sandcastle. Your searchlight is just what West Wallaby Street Waterworld needed, Mr. Paneer. Everything satisfactory, I hope? No. Not satisfactory at all. A certain Scottish gentleman has been deconstructing my constructions. Perhaps the management could have a word with him. I'll give it a go. Mr. McBiscuit is rather difficult to pin down. You've got to do something. If I can't finish my sandcastle, I'll have to insist on a refund. Your castle looks very handsome, Mr. Paneer. Such charming little bucket shapes. I do admire creative artists like yourself. Oh, thank you, Miss Flit. At least someone appreciates art and craft. Look, it's almost done. What do you reckon? Uh, very nice. It's lovely. Look at it. It's brilliant. That's the horrible dungeon where the mean bullying knight is kept locked in chains. Nice. That's the Tower of Groceries, where the heroic young shopkeeper sells top quality produce. Impressive architecture, don't you think? It's, it's oh, brilliant. Uh, yes. Best sandcastle I've ever seen. That's the royal court, where the king holds sumptuous banquets for all his royal chums. Okay, what's this one? That's the Enchanted Tower, where the beautiful princess sleeps, dreaming of a successful marriage to a financially secure prince. Okay. 
fair enough. I should look in on our other guests. But I'm nearly done. Just one last touch. Yeah. The perfect finishing touch. The mark of finest quality produce. It's beautiful. Me. Miss Flit's going to be impressed. Oh, hi. She'll be ever so impressed, I'm sure. Oh, no. Uh, whoops. <laughs> that really? Slut, silly me. <laughs> My castle. Stomped on by a tartan heel. See what I have to put up with? A holiday's not a blinking holiday if I can't finish my sandcastle. Now I have to start all over. Oh dear. Right, okay. How's the old sandcastle going? I'm not ready for viewing, Mr. Wallace. Okay, well, let's see if we can find... Where Hello, did he go? Wallace? What's this as well? Punch and Judy, look. Uh, what's that? Ooh, a book. What are you reading? Oh, you like this, Wallace. I've been longing for a new Oh, look, it's that one. And I quite fancy this one. Very incognito, don't you think? Oh, it's great. It'd My look amazing. Old babies wouldn't recognise me in this get-up. Uh, I'm afraid fashion isn't really my forte, Miss Flit. Nonsense. What man is immune to the allure of a well-dressed woman? Well, fantastic question. Uh, anyway, uh, let's I talk trust to her. Everything at West Wallaby Street Waterworld is to your satisfaction, Miss Flit. We strive to satisfy. It's sweet of you to ask, Mr. Wallace. I'm having a wonderful time. All this drama swirling around me. But I remain an oasis of calm in the hurly burly of holiday madness. Oh, glad to hear it. Well, that's two happy people at least. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I'm not really sure what made her happy, but fair enough. What's the deal with this? Let's get this going, shall we? How funny. That sounded just like my little darling's chew toy. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, is it? Is it the chew toy? <laughs> that's it. Smack, yeah, smack each other. Brilliant. Um, anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Where the hell did uh, McBiscuit go to? Just sort of disappeared again. Uh, let's talk to the Major then, shall we? What's this? Ouch! I wouldn't want anyone to step on that toy by mistake. It's not a toy, and you can't have it. The battle isn't over. All right, fair enough. Enjoying How's things going? Day, I hope, Major. Oh, yes, absolutely. Dashed comfortable billet you have here. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, we strive to achieve complete customer satisfaction. That wasn't so hard. Put that thing down and pay attention. Oh, oh sorry. I am about to reenact one of the greatest desert battles of history, the Siege of Aqaba. Not many know the tale. It was late 1914, or was it 1916? <laughs> oh, it God. was an even year of that, I'm sure. On the one side was a single British soldier, T.E. Lawrence, better known to you civvies as Sir Lawrence of Olivia. On the other, the invading army of the Ottoman Empire, thousands strong. You know the story? Yeah, I know the story. Lawrence single-handedly defended a desert fortress from a massive attack. He had only one rifle and no ammunition. He was all alone, just like this. Okay. Lawrence watched the enemy from a secret vantage point sheltered by enormous red boulders. <laughs> anyway, as the enemy massed, vultures began to circle overhead, crying out in their desperate thirst for blood. Hmm. Anyway, now at <laughs> this point, your average Joe would have thrown in the towel and anything else he had to hand. Look at Wallace's what face. Think our Lawrence did. He took tea. Hmm. Anyway, Lawrence was about to dunk his digestive when suddenly, oh, blast and bother! This is right. Not quite historically accurate, I'm afraid. I'll have to start again. Just a moment. Please don't. Alright, well, you just do that. I'm going to go off up to the kitchen. I don't know where Duncan McBiscuit's gone. Anyway, let's see how what uh, Gromit's getting on with the food, shall we? 
Hard at work, eh, Gromit? That's what I like to see. We'll soon have a house full of happy holiday makers, never fear. Oh, cracking idea, lad. Everyone loves a copper. You'd best attend to your pots and pans, eh? That's it, so he does all the washing up as well, really. It's <laughs> a little bit mean. Right, so do we have to give the Major this tea? Because it would fit his story, right? May I offer you a spot of tea, Major? Of course, sharpens the wits. Alright, fair enough. Um, does anyone else want tea? Let's have a look. Care for some tea, Mr. Paneer? No, thank you, Wallace. I'm too busy for tea. Alright, fair enough. Hello there. Uh, do you want some tea? Uh, may I offer you some tea? Oh, you're sweet as honey, but no tea for me, thank you. It makes me windy. Too much information, you know? I didn't want to know that. And also, no tea for you then. Um, where is Mrs. Gabberly, and where is Duncan, and where is Constable Dibbins? They've all gone missing. I'm not really sure where the hell they've gone to, uh, which is a bit weird. Um, what is this? Ambient sounds. Seaside songbirds, sounds of the seashore, on the boardwalk, luau by, luau lullaby, holiday harmony or off. Right, okay, so maybe we've got to do the, the bird's noise to fit in with his story as well. That's what I'm thinking. For some reason, I think we're probably going to have to make his story accurate. Um, but I think that's where we'll leave it for this episode, because we're approaching time, and we've got quite a lot done as well. So, West Wallaby Street Waterworld. Um, yeah, again, this game is really, really good. I'm loving it. It's bizarre, but I'm absolutely loving playing it. Um, so, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.